Hey guys, it's Landon with RH, and this is the second video in a little two video set that I'm recording that shows you how to set up uh, or how to create a fillable form in Inkscape. So, in the last video, uh, we laid out our form. You can see I made a couple changes to the form. I just wanted to show you that. So, I, I just added a section here for the date and location of the meeting. I thought that was important and then cleaned up my layout lines a little bit. So, we should have this now as a PDF. So what I'd like to do in this video is uh, show you how you can turn that PDF into a fillable PDF with uh, in Nitro Pro after you've exported it out of Inkscape. So let me just pull this PDF up real quick. I apologize for not having that open. All right, so you can do a similar thing in Adobe Reader. Uh, oh, you know what? I've got my layout lines on in there. That is horrible. Let me pause the video and fix that. All right, guys, I apologize about that. Uh, so this looks a little better. We don't have the layout lines now, and I think my bullets were not visible the other time. So this is this is looking a little better, a little better place to start. So what we want to do is make this fillable now, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Nitro PDF. So we're going to come over to review. Um, nope, it's not review, it's forms, sorry. And uh, we're going to create a, whoop, forms, we are going to create a text field. Um, now, before we do that, let's see, we want to set up our set preferences. We want to make sure that we set up a grid. I'm trying to remember where it's at, guys. We want to set up a, a grid that's a tenth of an inch by a tenth of an inch. Here we go, units and grid. Okay, so it's it's all set up because I've done it before, but we set it to a tenth of an inch by a tenth of an inch. And what that's going to do is let us create our text fields right on top of these uh, light gray boxes. That's why I didn't put a stroke on them. So you can see when I create that now, I'm going to go to my properties. And I've already got the defaults. This font's getting a little hard for me to see it at 8. Eight units high, eight points high. So I'm gonna go with ten points high. <clears throat> and so it's super easy to just come in here. Um, oh, let's see. You know what? That went back to eight. So you get them set the way you want, and then you say use current appearance as the new default. So we're just gonna work our way down. Okay. So pretty simple, we're just creating these. It's just auto numbering the text boxes. Now we are gonna have to change the bottom one because uh, we wanna support multi-line text. So I'll show you in just a minute how to do that. And like I said, you can do this in Adobe, not Adobe Reader, but Adobe Acrobat. If you have the pro version, you can create forms like this. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. We gotta go to the properties here and we gotta enable multi-line text. So right here, we're gonna say multi-line and we still want it left aligned, so we're gonna close it. Okay, so I'm gonna save that and go back to preferences and turn off that grid. And then we're going to come into Home. And if I hit the Hand button, it just turns into a form. So this is what it's actually going to look like. So you can see now we've got a nice fillable form. Uh, we can say that Landon Blake was here with Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny. And then we can say, uh, just for meeting notes, we can say, Elmer Fudd seems like a cranky senior citizen. Uh, Bugs. Bugs is snarky and disrespectful. This, is, this isn't this is what I would put in my real meeting notes. Oh, maybe I would if you were snarky and disrespectful. And then just to make sure this multi-line form works, we could say, few of my team members 
don't know how to write short concise whoop, sentences so we made this extra large note taking text box just for them. Okay, so there you go. Now we got a fillable form. You know, it's got a pretty nice layout, I think. Um, so we can uh, save this as a PDF and just attach it uh, in Basecamp or Trello. And you can attach it in whatever project um, management software you're using, or we can save it as a PDF in our um, communications folder here at, at RH. And uh, we've got this available now. We can print it out. So there you go. Super simple to make clean, somewhat visually appealing, fillable PDF forms using Inkscape and Nitro PDF Pro. Thanks for watching, guys.